meteorologist Matt Miller. We've got a mostly clear sky now and ahead of us through the night as temperatures drop back near the freezing mark. A few areas perhaps a little bit below that level could see some frost in the morning. We do have several windy days, or at least breezy to windy days out ahead of us, and it won't start that way. As a matter of fact, tonight the winds go calm. It won't start that way tomorrow, but as the day goes on, the winds will start to increase. And even with all these shifts in the wind, we are still looking at dry weather for the most part this weekend. Overall, just a beautiful evening out there. The temperatures have been mild, starting to cool off already as the sun hitting the horizon. In Manhattan, it is a quieter night, less showery, kind of drizzly conditions, and more of a just clear cold evening out ahead of us. In Topeka, it's 54. We have northwest winds at 8. The dew point, that measurement of moisture yesterday, it was at 57. Now it's 33. So it's a lot drier out there, and dry air cools off quite a bit. This morning, we were only at 45 and made it up to 60. Tomorrow morning, we'll be down into the lower 30s, so a much colder start to the day. Right now, again, most of the area made it into the 50s and a few spots into the 60s today. 50 currently for Marysville and Hiawatha, 50 at Burlington, Junction City, and Manhattan, both at 56. Mild temperatures this afternoon with all of those northerly winds because we started off pretty warm at 45. Tomorrow, we're going to start off a lot colder. We won't have the wind around but we will still have the sunshine. But because of the colder start, we just won't be able to warm up as much tomorrow afternoon. Again, the skies are right now mostly clear, and I expect that to be the case throughout the night and into the day tomorrow. The first system, that front that pushed through, is all the way now pushing over toward Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, down toward Knoxville, Tennessee. Clear skies throughout the Central Plains. And here comes the next storm system on the West Coast. These are fast moving, and this will zip across the northern half of the country. It will produce some cloud cover for us, and it will produce our next front that gets pushed in here late Friday. Ahead of it, clear skies tonight. A few thin high clouds should be about it. And a lot of sunshine tomorrow. This takes us up to 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Watch what happens tomorrow night from south to north. Here comes some cloud cover building in late evening, overnight, maybe some patchy drizzle early Friday. That sounds familiar, right? We've had a few of those kind of days lately, but this one will be a warm day as the winds will be turning out of the southwest. We'll see some breaks in the clouds as well and a chance for a few showers here and there, but eventually a front will come through and clear us out and cool us down for the upcoming weekend. Tonight, the winds are light, starting to turn around to the east, increasing out of the southeast tomorrow during the day, so it becomes breezy, stays breezy Thursday night into Friday, but it's a south wind, and that is bringing in warmer air, and even as those winds turn more southwesterly, temperatures will really climb. Many areas Friday could be flirting with the 70-degree mark, even with the cloud cover hanging around. Tonight, it's the other end of the spectrum, where we drop down to 32 with very little wind, then 57 Thursday. We cloud up, maybe a few rain showers, a breezy day on Friday with a high of 70, breezy and cooler on Saturday as we drop back to 54, and then 28 for Saturday night into Sunday morning, and more breezy weather as we head in toward the middle part of next week. Uh, looks like another front will move in just before Thanksgiving, and so we'll have windy conditions on Tuesday and Wednesday as we warm up a little bit Tuesday and then turn around and cool right back down next Wednesday. But today is Wednesday, and that means we get to meet this week's KidCaster. Hi, I'm Preston Barr. I am nine years old, and I go to Indian Hills Elementary in Topeka. Today is November 15th, 2017. The average high temperature for today is 55 degrees, and the average low is 33. The record high for today is 78 degrees set back in the 1950, and the record low is 9, set back in 1940. All right, Preston did a great job there. And if you have a child who'd like to be one of our kid casters, head over to our website at ksnt.com. Click on the weather tab, and underneath that, you'll see a kid cast section, and you can get your child registered so long as they are ages 6 to 12. All right. 78. I sure wouldn't mind that coming back, you know, yeah. as a record. What was that, 1950? We're yeah. due for another record. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's been 67 years. It's mm -hmm. got to happen yeah. again one of these times. Eventually. Let's just not bring the 1940 back because that record <laughs> low was nine. Yeah. yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Decades off there. Well, yeah. curling is becoming a popular winter.